Hi everyone and welcome to another video where today I'm doing another car boot haul. We decided to go to a different car boot today, it was a lot bigger and managed to pick up a lot more stuff in my last video um, which I will link on this video if you haven't seen it. So as ever I will go through what I bought and roughly what I plan to sell it for. This stuff again is for my future eBay business, my reselling business that I'm going to, have to start in a couple of months. So none of this will be on eBay until then. Um, it's all being stored away. So first of all, the first thing I picked up today were these two mugs. These are Cadbury chocolate mugs. So this is Crunchy and Whisper. These were 50p each. I should be able to get about eight to 10 pounds each for those. Next I'll show you this. It's a Daisy Duck, I believe. Suitcase for a child. It's quite small, for, so I'm presuming it's a child suitcase. I've tried Google imaging it and I can't find it. I've tried looking on eBay and I can't find it. So I don't know about price really for this one. It cost me three pounds. It's a little bashed up, it needs a um, good clean. Um, it should be about 25 to 30 maybe if I can clean it up. Now you can see inside, it's got a little bit of dirt in there. It is from the Disney store. Um, I just can't find it online in a, a comparison. Next we have some shoes. I'm not hugely into shoes, so I don't know what I'm looking for really. Uh, but I saw these Vans. Uh, they were £5 and they're practically new, hardly been worn, so I thought I'd pick them up. They'll get me about 15 odd. And my boyfriend saw these. Um, so he pointed them out. These are Timberlands. I don't know the logo or anything for Timberland, but he did, so he pointed these out. These were £10. I've got some mud on, just need cleaning. But they should hopefully get me about 25 to 30 Next we just have a Thomas & Friends memory game. That was 50p. It's not a huge amount on that, probably about six or seven pounds. Um, I was very excited to find these. These are Middle Earth. CCG cards from the 90s, from like 95. It's a starter deck and it's not been played. The cards are pristine inside, which I was really shocked about. So if you know me, you know I like my customizable card games and I recognize this straight away. You can see there, it's the Middle Earth CCG. The unlimited edition, starter deck, rules and 76 cards. This was 50p and I grabbed it, <laughs> basically. Because you never see cards this old in the wild anymore, especially in this condition. So that should hopefully get me about 15 to 20, um, just because the cards are mint inside. On the same stall they had some Cards Against Humanity. They were two pounds. I don't know how much I'll get for those. Probably about 10 to 12. It's not a lot because they're quite common. Uh, next I'll show you this because it's just a little mug. It's a Finding Dory mug. Uh, this was 50p. Might get about six pounds for that. Um, I picked up a couple of plushes. These are Disney plushes. And the Tigger especially is in very good condition. Uh, this is like a Halloween devil. Tigger. Um, he was a pound and hopefully I'll get about eight pounds for him. Um, and then there's this Eeyore in like a pilot outfit. He'll probably get me about six to eight. He just needs a bit of a clean. Uh, then we have this. It's a very annoying electronic game. <laughs> I picked it up and pressed the button and it started playing it in the middle of the field. It's called Simon Air. I've never heard of it before but it was only two pounds and it was working, so I grabbed that. And she had something else as well. I can't remember what else I bought off her. But yeah, I grabbed that and, oh, it's a suitcase. Uh, the lady had this in the suitcase on the same stall. Um, this sold around the 10 pounds with postage. So not a huge amount, but with like Christmas coming up, hopefully that will sell. I'll show you these two. I don't normally pick up computer games because I don't know what I'm looking for. That's an area I still need to research. These are two Skylanders games for the Xbox 360. I have heard of Skylanders, so I picked them up. They look like they're a completed a manual in that one, and there was instructions in that one, so I presume it was complete. Um, they were £2 each, and the lady had 
the Eeyore, um, that was 30p, so I got the, the lot off that lady for four pounds. The solds on these aren't um, very high. I saw someone selling the same two games for £10 and they've sold, so around £10 for them, so not a huge profit, but still a little bit of profit. Um, I'll show you these books next. These are Disney Twisted Tales. Um, I have heard of these books. I think I've seen them in HMV before. Uh, what stuck out at me was they're still sealed and the guy was selling them for £2, so uh, the RP on them is 23 97 Solds on these are around the £15 mark, so £2 into 15s, not too bad. Next, I uh, picked up a tip from Ricky Lee. <laughs> it's the paperweights. Um, I know people are going crazy for paperweights at the moment. Um, and there was this lady selling quite a few of them. I should have picked up more, really, but... Um, these three stuck out at me. There was this rather colourful swirly one, which is probably my favourite out of the three. There was this one with like um, dolphins on or some sort of marine animal. So that's quite nice. And then this one, I thought it looked like a bit of like a dragon or something, but it's like a big splash thing of colour. Uh, so th these I don't know, I can't find exact ones um, to compare pricing, but around the £10 each mark, this smaller one a little bit less. She was selling them for £2 each, um, so I asked her if she'd do the three for five and she agreed, so that's what I got them for. Um, I'll quickly show you this, it's nothing hugely exciting, it's a Yankee Candle like melt, so you put the wax melts in the top and put a tea light underneath. Um, it's official Yankee Candle. Has got a bit of um, burning on, but it looks like you can take it off. I just need to clean it a bit better than I have already. Uh, that was 50p, and there was a sold one exactly the same for £10 on eBay, so around the £10 plus postage mark. Um, this little game, that was 50p, I think. Um, I don't think it's going to get me much money, but I saw it and it was 50p, and it's Star Wars, so I picked it up. Next I'll show you this, it's Play-Doh, again, that was 50p, um, it's from 2011, now, I don't know much about Play-Doh, so I don't know if it goes out of date or whether it dries up, and I don't particularly want to open the packet to look. So, if you know about Play-Doh, let me know in the comments, does it dry up and go bad, or <laughs> if you know, let me know in the comments. If it is okay, it should get me around £8 plus postage. And then I'll show you the media. Um, there was quite a lot of media around. Um, I got these off a few stalls, I think. There was a lady in a tramp. Um, that was £3 and it was sealed. It would probably be worth more before Disney Plus came out, but it's probably only worth about 4 or £5 now, unfortunately. So that was probably my fail of the day, actually. Um, next, there was a lady selling some Blu-rays and some DVDs, and what stuck out to me was the Star Wars DVDs. These are the limited editions, and they contain the original cut of the Star Wars movies, like the original trilogy cuts. So you've got the special edition and the original theatrical versions. They're not worth that much, um, probably about £5 each. They do need a bit of a clean... Um, they're a bit dusty, but they should get me around four to five pounds each. Uh, this Chronicles of Narnia is quite a hard Blu-ray to get hold of, I've noticed. This is on Disney Plus as well. Uh, again, it's only going to get me about four or five pounds. Next, I saw this on a stall. It was two pounds. It was quite a recent release. Um, it's the season five of Fear the Walking Dead. Um, so I thought I'd pick that up because it's quite recent. Solds on eBay around the £10 mark on that. Uh, then there was another stall, a lady selling DVDs for a pound each. Uh, this one stuck out at me, Sonic the Hedgehog. My boyfriend's a huge Sonic fan, so I saw that and grabbed that. Then there was this other Sonic, and that's sealed, that was a pound. There was a Pokemon DVD, that's not really worth a lot, but you never know, it might go up in price. The Sonics, uh, that one's worth more, that's about £5. That one's a couple of pounds, and that's a couple of pounds. Then I saw this. Again, it needs a clean. Uh, 
but it's the complete series of Wolverine and the X-Men. My boyfriend is a huge X-Men fan, so I know about this series, and I know this series is quite hard to get hold of, it's not on Disney+, Plus, and this is the complete series and it was only a pound. That one hopefully you should be able to get about a tenner for. And I picked up this, and this is a crew clothing, like long sleeve polo, and uh, it's the crew company rowing brand. I don't know, it's got number three on the back. I can't find exact ones like this. It was two pounds. Uh, I don't normally pick up clothing, but I thought I'd give this a go because uh, it's quite nice. I'd probably wear that myself, actually. Sold on similar ones around the 10 to 12 pound mark. So I aim for that, maybe 15 at a push. Uh, then I had this. This was off the same stall as those customizable card game cards and the Cards Against Humanity. This is two pounds, and it's you can just about see it on the side there. It's a Winnie the Pooh money bank from the Showcase collection, and it's in the box. Two pounds, and it's around thirty pounds. This item, so yeah, that was a good find. Uh, then I got this Fortnite Monopoly. I've never played Fortnite, but I've obviously heard of it. It's really popular with the kids. <laughs> um, no idea if it's worth anything. It was £3. It's been played once, apparently, and I haven't checked the contents, but it looks like all the contents are in there, but we'll see. Completed sales on this is around the £10 mark. Possibly I might part it out. I'll have to see. I don't know. It depends if it's all there or not. And the last thing I've got is this canvas, which you can just about see on the camera, I think. Um, it's a Star Wars Marvel comic cover, uh, issue number 13, I think, by the number up there. This was £1, so I thought that was brilliant. Um, I can't decide whether to keep it, though. <laughs> I've got to find a space for it on the wall. Um, so possibly keep this. I haven't researched uh, solds on this. It's quite big, so it'd be a bit of a job to post it but possibly this might be staying with me. So that's my haul for today. It was a really enjoyable car boot. We were there probably nearly three hours, about two and a half to three hours. It was huge to walk around compared to the one just in our local town. It was a bit more further to drive. It was about a 40 minute drive away but it was well worth going. So I don't know what I'll do in the future regarding car boots. I might alternate it with the really local one. Uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But yeah, I had a really enjoyable day. I hope you enjoyed watching this haul and seeing what I managed to pick up. Total I spent today was £58.80 and that will translate roughly into about £300 to £350 depending on how much I can get for things. So yeah, not bad I thought for a morning's work. And other than that guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon. Take care, bye.